everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Am I coming through okay? Alright, where's my controller? Alright, let's make sure everything's properly synced before we pick up where we left off. A, B, C. One, two, three. Omega, we were on our way to find one Dr. Was that Warden Solis? Am I saying that right? Oh, come on, don't start yawning now. I need my coffee. So we stopped at this couple's house, and we're just going to go ahead and move on. I think we got everything. What am I packing? Oh, the, uh, the guest plasma shotgun. That I've yet to use yet. I love this gun. Slight delay when you're trying to fire this thing. Come on over. The blue suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Ah, uh, excuse me. Yeah, there's a slight delay with the uh, Geth Plasma uh, shotgun. It's almost like a build-up kind of thing. Looks a little bit more directed, too. Hang on.
Alright, so that's progress down that way. Let me check the other side real quick. say we found this stuff it's ours now ah, forget it nothing but junk in here this place is worse than the last one what are you doing in this apartment did you kill that Turian what the guy on the floor Nah, the plague took care of him we're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions stealing from the dead that's pretty low what's the big deal it's not like they're gonna miss anything we're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Tyrian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. Not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. He's crawling with blue suns and Vorchek. Tell me everything you know about Morton Solis. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. <laughs> no way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see them go. The Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Better not. Or I will know. I will know, and I will find you. This must be it. Yep. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. 
Blue Suns knew better than to mess with Professor Solus, but the Vorcha, I'm not so sure about them. I hope we can hold out here until the quarantine ends. Our supplies are already getting low. Good call. Hello. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. Canadian voice actor. I heard that sorry. saved my life. I owe him everything. Professor, we're running low on suppoxy. Use melanoin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in the tearing. Supplement with butemerol. Oh, yeah. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Heplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine better option. No, no, no. Demazine toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Professor Morton Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. 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 Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes. Yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for Relax, some... Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, Sure, let's go. Right now. No strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want. We all give to get what we want. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Suns, Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. <laughs> what do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background. Wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. 
Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Let's head for the environmental plant. Mike's hand cannon acquired. Hong squad members are not able to use his weapon. Hand cannon, you say? man of culture who voices him this is valuable ooh What else was he in? On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. I didn't realize how good things were in the district before the quarantine. Never thought I'd miss the blue suns. Really? Hmm. That's Enemies in front. I was gonna play it quiet, but no, you just had to go scream it out. Thanks, Miranda. Ooh, I like this gun. I don't know what it killed him, but it sent him flying. might be a few things I might recognize. Alrighty. Let's see. That. That.
You hate that hacking me? What's wrong with them? I don't mind it. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. Huh? We saw what was that noise? in your bag. No. Those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. I should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and you'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. Whoever followed, I didn't see the name. It's not showing up on mini feed, but thank you for the follow. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Yeah, it's not showing up on my, my mini feed. I, was, I didn't see who it was. I just heard the guy saying, huh, what was that noise? And yeah, I did fix the uh, the resub sound, so they're all the same. They're all the they're all the new one. Incoming. Miranda, will you stop walking into my line of fire before I end up pulling a starship trooper and blowing your head off? Is that a shadow texture or did I just shoot my gun or something blow up in your face? Just in case. Oh, God damn. Charge him up. I've got him. Who's he shooting at? Or Yeah, dude. There's a blammo barrel for you. Right there, too. Have a nice trip. Target down. Better sniper rifle. Gotta hurt. I'm not digging a three shot burst.
remember having a really nice sniper rifle in Mass Effect 1. I hope there's one like that in here. Close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. As long as we don't have to deal with a giant leviathan. Looking at you, dead space. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You. Work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. Trouble ahead. He goes. <clears throat> Locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Hit their tanks, got it. One down, one to go. Let's move. Shotgun rain. I want a flamethrower. Can I get a flamethrower? I'd like a flamethrower. Both fans are up. That should be it. Field is clear. Environmental 
systems engaged, airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Borcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. I mean, he's not wrong. Good kid, a bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. I just don't know how much of the Hippocratic Oath uh, means to them. Just need to finish up here at clinic. Won't take long. Beach with your ship. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it took a differ. <laughs> I'm going to look around for a moment. Uh, no, I don't want to return to Normandy because we got other shit to do. We got to find Archangel. Uh, the so yeah, so yeah, where's where's Archangel? Transport the uh, depot outside the club. Hop on a shuttle. Okay. Actually, if I head, uh, yeah, if I head back to the Normandy. I can double back, I guess. Maybe. Will that work? Recruited Dr. Morton Solis to the team. Examination of the Omega, Pi uh, Omega Plague Cure. I almost said Omega Pirate. This ain't Metroid. Confirms Dr. Solis' expertise. Also use... Uh, can also use work on Omegas as leverage against or, or Aria if necessary. Got heavy pistol, rifle damage, micro scanner. Element zero, lots of palladium, lots of platinum, lots of iridium. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. The collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out. No signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Chitin armor? Eviscerator shotgun. 
Inferno armor. Research terminal in the lab. Okay, we gotta find the lab. Yes. Ooh, shield piercing, armor pi oh. tungsten sabo jacket. Oh, we gotta do the sniper rifle. Or no, we can't. We can't. Wait. Do we or is it already applied? Trauma module. Unity, use your squad to fill health. Yes. I need more platinum. So yeah, why is that grayed out? Collector, assault rifle, chitin armor. Heavy weapon upgrade. Oh, inferno armor looks interesting. Bonus plus 10, tech and power, or biotic power damage plus 10, storm speed plus 10. New heavy weapon, avalanche. I mainly just use a normal armor because it's customized. Oh, okay. We'll get the shotgun, though. I use the Dragon Age armor most of the time. any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team. Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Ah, oh, so I can just talk to him for the, the stuff, too. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Get that. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Oh, fine. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. 
It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre's similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Lots <laughs> of hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellions bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Nice talking with you, Morden. Should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. What would Rex would think about that? Single shot, we'll stick with that. Stick with that. Mm. Let's try the missile launcher. And we got the eviscerator. We got Said, Morden, and Kasmi. So we gotta go back and f uh, find Archangel. Oh yeah, I need, I need to go back to my, uh, my quarters. Wait, what's it? Who's up there? None. Okay.
At least these fish are calmer than the ones I actually have. Freaking Oscars. Space hamster. Oh, look at him. Oh, hey, my models. That's an awesome kind of like display shelf. We should get one of those for like uh, all the ships that I want to build, like the Enterprise and the Millennium Falcon and stuff. Make one fly for Space Hamster. <laughs> Hang on. Is it here? Oh, there's the helmet. There's the old uh, helmet that I saw from. Uh, from the wreckage. It's probably stashed away somewhere. Because I know I bought it. Yeah, he's got it stashed away somewhere. Or did he buy it from someone in the crew? Is someone else reading it? There you are. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. I have to say, that Jacob, you need, hmm, he seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a penchant for kleptomania. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Come back later, I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. It just gets put into the codex? <laughs> Described itself as the galaxy's finest xenophilia. By its fifth year, Fornax became the first human magazine to offer 
full five sensory stimulation a previously unaffordable magazine technology made profitable by the economy of scale with a monthly publishing run of 127 million available both in hard copy and direct download fornax offers a range of alien models with particular emphasis on the unisexual sorry <laughs> Although both genders, uh, Quarians, Drill, Batarians, and Volus are regularly depicted. Special uh, specialty editions such as uh, Genet Elcor and Krogasm service devoted but uh, devoted but smaller markets. Revelation. I pick up a Bible somewhere. Uh, can I get that? I want that. I'll take this though. Alright, so we gotta go back and where is it? Archangel. Transit hub outside the club. That's one of the novel. Okay. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. Oh, yeah, I remember it wasn't that. until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I'll see you later, Kasumi. I want to find Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Going to the women's restroom? What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay, so I can just access it from here as well. Oh, yes. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. What are you looking at? All the crew give you a new prototype item for the ship. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. What happens if I keep doing it? Oh, that's all that happens? Oh, that Edie was just gonna start snapping at me. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Hi, Doc. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Okay, I think I remember talking to her about those. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. 
Could go to the local cluster and check planets there for the materials. Yeah. Access to the AI core is restricted. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's mate. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. You sound so depressed. Chin up. Cook some good food. Like soup. Zaid. What you doing down in engineering? Seriously, I'm about to just start calling you Scotty. Oh. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicant. Turian Brigand. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Fellow model maker, I can respect that. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Am I supposed to be impressed? Yes, you're elusive, man's big on forgiveness. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 70 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one on one combat, took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. something I'm supposed to find amongst all this. Alright. It's just a thing you can do. There's no like Easter eggs like, oops, this somehow got into the trash compactor.
of phones. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. Glad I didn't sign up. Uh, from John Whiteson. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you in Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who are trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count how, uh, and how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most of what you did for me. Of course, his name's gotta be John. Healing of your facial scars. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regards, regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab. Commander Shepard, the Alliance is grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site and we sent out the affected send it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. Yeah, we'll fix it next time. Actually, we can go ahead and do it right now. I think. There we go. I need more platinum. Okay, let's take a look around here. Erdak. Wait, isn't that the location in Doom Eternal? is a close orbiting brown dwarf most red brown uh, red brown dwarf binary systems have an average separation of eight uh, what was it, AU astro astro units astronomical units I forget it like one AU is the equivalent of the distance between Sol and the earth the Saurabaric system is about 12 billion years old. It was a homeworld in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was long since used up deuterium, used to fuel fusion. So Erdak is not luminous like some brown dwarfs are. Erdak is a class L brown dwarf with a relatively low temperature of 1,300 degrees Celsius, but his heat and gravity have made it unpopular for development. There are rumors that the heads of several Omega, uh, several of Omega's crime syndicates maintain private residences on various moons. Whatever the truth of the matter, battles between syndicate vessels are often observed around the ring plane. News outlets on Omega maintain satellites at Erdak's Lagrange points for real-time coverage of these battles, which garner high viewer ratings. Battles, huh? Between shipwrecks, so there might be some, uh, might be some element zero here. Thank you. 
That's a lot of palladium. There you are. Probe away. I don't need any more palladium. I want other materials. Standard methane, ammonia gas giant. Amorcan is a main source of helium-3 fuel for ships coming to or from Omega. Most of its fueling stations are run by criminal cartels who engage in cutthroat, sometimes literally, pricing wars. Amorcan is also widely known for its layover stations where pirates in a hurry can find fuel, ammunition, and, toxi and toxicants. Gambling, gambling, and sexual companionship at any hour. My sister used to call me Mork. Because I used to watch Mork and Mindy with my mom. And I was like, uh, Robin Williams. There you are. Away. One 
building. There you go. Oh, another one of platinum. Depleted. Fucking strip mine that place. Bender. As opposed to Bender. If it were closest, uh, if it were closer to so Sour Bear, uh, Sour Barrack. Excuse me. Bender would have an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. In the deep cold of the outer solar system, however, both elements have long s since frozen to the ground. Oh, look at that! Right off the bat. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. More platinum. Holy crap. some iridium here. There you are. Launching probe. Saw that jump. There you are. Probe launched. Probe launched. Holy shit. Probe away. That one. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Don't be depleted. All right, fine. All right, back to Omega.
judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Nice. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Oh yeah, we already got there. Now we just need to go to the shuttle depot. Wherever that is. Transit hub. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. With the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> A pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. To the left. Ah, thank you. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. I <laughs> like just says it outright as you like right in the middle of the street. What a piss hole! This place sucks. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Can't imagine seeing Obi Wan Kenobi saying that about Moss Eisley. Man, this place is a piss hole. Let's see, we got the heavy rifle, got the eviscerator shotgun, we got a mantis rifle, hand cannon, and we got the missile launcher. We good. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout. Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. I think I did this kind of thing for Mass Effect 1. I don't change up the teams unless I go to a different planet or system. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. 
We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. Also, I'm kind of a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna eat some. Uh... I'm gonna try and not chew into the microphone. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Well, we might have a way in, but getting out could be interesting. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Hmm. That's good stuff. Got to be some um, Ferrero Rocher uh, chocolates. Love that stuff. I'm curious. Do they ever make a like a dark chocolate version of those? I never uh, looked. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Yes, we're going with the Mercs. Oh, they do. I got. I must look for those. Love me some dark chocolate. Where is this prompt? That oh. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the eclipse. You figure that out by yourself. I'm Jared. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction. Nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. It's Archangel a chick. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. I'll get going. Good idea. Tarek has spoken to Garm. And he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we ha won't have the men needed to continue on the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations will be ready to move in on Aria without the assistance of the other two. Deliver the data pad to her. Oh, she's not gonna like that. Whoa. No, that's not what I wanted. This. 
this. And this. That was a tough one. That should slow him down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Did we just do some sabotage? leader name's Garm that's all you need to know I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war ask your questions and go when did the blood pack attack damn Tarek wants us to wait I hate waiting but he says the sons have a plan and they don't want us getting in their way uh, we're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their max we'll see why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah? What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Wait, is it Turian? Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. Curious. Don't mind me, I'm just hacking this person's account. Ah, damn it. Fuck! D pad. D pad. Always use the D pad. For Sergeant Captain. You and me both, pal. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> Kafka? Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Salky? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance.
you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. For a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Didn't know cigarettes were still a thing in this day and age. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight. Where a go? Check. Bravo team. Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. Zeppity Zep. Oh. Damn it. I was about to take it. Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. I think we'll be fine. Hold up. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Trouble ahead. No, is that? Hate to do this to you guys. He's with but I have other plans. Archangel? Keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh huh. 
If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive. And I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little Merc blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. I got just the thing. Come on up that one. <laughs> Don't fuck with a marksman. Oh, is that what that changed it into?
All right, I'm going in. Let's test this puppy out. I love this ride. I've got him. I love this ride. Eclipse marks have made it into the base. Don't worry. I got it taken care of. Is that the mech I hacked? Die trash. That'll do. Have a nice trip. Scope and drop. All right. All this ammo. Although I didn't blink for a second on that, my eyes are burning. Bomb. Shepard, I need you up here. Yep, yep, I'm coming. This might be useful. Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? The ship. The gunship. What the hell? 
hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. You too, Garrus. My rifle back. And I'll switch to the grenade the launcher. Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. That's it, shut down. Nope, they're here. Keep pressing R1 thinking I need Ah oh, god damn Get off of me Resident Evil. Sons of bitches! <laughs> Fucking flamethrower.
There we go. Get back here, Shepard. Coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Danger close. I'm coming, buddy. Sons are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Gunship! Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. I should have taken out the they're mechanic. Oh well. Oops. Watch your back, Joe. I miss having grenades. Ooh, I just dodged that. a rocket launcher that close?
out of shotgun? Oh, I am out of shotgun. That was easy. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. Extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege, recruited him to the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, her elevation of identity as Garrus, useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. Got the battle rifle, tech DM. I'm in zero. done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? They did what they could, but you're gonna have some scars. I'm sorry. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. <laughs> Could use some new armor, though. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Yeah, you need a new suit. on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dead before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Oh, there we go. Use tech, but I'll upgrade it anyways. All right, let's go talk to Garrus, and then we'll call it an early night. See his forward batteries. I think they'll be downstairs, wouldn't it? Hadley, I've heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. 
but we'll get them back. Let's talk to Joker. Hi, Steve. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the repro- Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. <laughs> I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I must find the others. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I have. Cerberus command request. Report tells us you've been upgrading their Omega and the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Lorek, a nearby planet in the Fathar system. Fathar, Fathar system system. Scan the planet for a base. We believe the we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the uh, operative's transmitter. Extract the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have collected. So, this is a de uh, very delicate manner, Shepard. We trust in your discretion. You're alive? Mom! So I have to find out my child is alive third hand from the Alliance Brass? What the hell have you been? I figured whatever you're doing is classified, likely part of your Spectre operations. Just say, stay safe out there. Keep doing your mom proud. And sneak something through the secure channel next time. Captain Hannah. Uh, Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from the uh, Terrans. Though I'd seen the worst of your people's anger and fear. Worst, uh, worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solace's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping him... Uh, how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. We got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over the security here. I right? keep the mechs powered on. Won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. Captain Hannah. Oh yeah, I forgot to give the thing back to uh to Arya. Let's talk to Garrison and we'll go back down there just to give her the uh, the data pad. Just to see what happens. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. 
And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you start. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. It didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Shepard. Need me for something? Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to is polite anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Xanax cannon. Turian designed Xanax magnetic hydro uh, hydronamic cannon is now installed in Normandy. is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. Magnetic hydronamic, it's like a mix between an e, uh, a rail gun and a uh, something else. I don't know, magnetics screaming e, uh, rail gun for me. And I'm all for it. Alright, let's head back to the surface. Hey, Garrus, you want to come?
Okay. We'll change it up. We'll go with Garrison Warden, and we'll stick with that team next time I, uh, next time I stream. Let's see how these guys do. Cycle appearance. Huh. Interesting. We'll stick with that one, though. Yeah, some have other appearances, and they get another... When you do their loyalty missions, what loyalty missions? Oh, is that like uh, hunting down uh, Sidonis for Garrus? Stuff like that? Yeah, Garrus is a marksman. I like him. Machine pistol and the hand cannon. Alright. Missions as I told you about in Kasumi's thing. Okay, so Zaid and Kasumi have their own uh, their own alternate appearance as well. Yeah, we gotta get the... Garrus, doctor, you wanna drink? straight to business people are using okay. your death was whatever you need will come out on its own where did talk to all that I'm stuff about you about Omega doesn't really care about you maybe I'll come back later maybe I'll be here I'll see you around operative or Lord Jack Dr. O'Kear okay 
All right, so let's just head back to Normandy. I'll call it. Come on, let me in. the doctor. There you go, Doc. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Yes! You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glass. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins popped up and yelled, That was awesome! Oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. To Jenkins, to Presley, and to Alenko. May they never be forgotten. Holy crap, that ice brandy hits hard. Ugh. Oh, that's, that's the doctor. <laughs> you, want, you, want, you want some company? Okay, I sobered up quick. Save and we'll call it a night here. And that'll be it for Mass Effect this week. We'll continue with more of that on Monday. We'll see where it's going to take us next time. Uh, what did I land on? I land on Terminator. That won't be until next week. So tomorrow and Friday. Yeah. Today's Tuesday. What's today? Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. L totally lost track of time. Or day, rather. I need a calendar. But, uh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow and Friday will be some uh, Elden Ring. I'll um, be continuing where I left off. I don't know how much further I have left. Uh, so we'll see how far I can get with that. And then we'll come back around with more Mass Effect 2 on Monday, and then the following Tuesday, and then we'll finally start Terminator uh, Resistance DLC stuff on Wednesday. So that'll be the plan. I'd like to thank you all for joining me. If you like this stream, head on over to the following links. Uh, the first one will take you to the Lazy League Discord, where you can be able to find more info on other upcoming. Uh, oh no, find the rest of us, uh, such as Oh Hey My K, the Backwin, and Gum Doctor Gray. Many others on our circle of streamers, check them all out. Uh, there's also a bunch of other stuff that goes on there. Watch parties, D&D &D talks, gaming news, penguin news, uh, event uh, gaming, and a whole bunch of other stuff. 
uh, come ha hang out with us, come be lazy with us. The second link is the one where you'll be able to find more info on other upcoming streams that I have planned, as well as my archive of all the past streams that I've done, like my playthrough of Mass Effect 1. And if you got any questions, comments, or concerns that you would like me to know about, or any suggestions that you might have for me for future Let's Plays or Retro Nights, head on over to the contact page and shoot the nods over there. Uh, alternatively, you can scroll down below or up to the side, depending on what platform you're watching from, to catch the Twitter link. Reach out uh, to contact me from there as well, as well as other links to help support the channel and other streamers who aren't connected or affiliated with the Lazy League. They're just ones that I like to watch and follow. Check them all out whenever you can. They're all great. And again, thank you for joining me tonight for this uh, second session of Mass Effect 2 for the week. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some Elden Ring. Until then, take care. Love and hype. Life is good. Good night, everyone.